Hi everyone, I'm Maria from Sometimes Booty and Poison Antidote, and I'm here. I was originally going to do my sticker video, which I'm going to film next, but Jackie wouldn't leave me alone, so I figured I would do a pet tag video since he's not leaving me alone. I might as well just take advantage of him wanting to be in front of the camera. So this is Jack Jack. Jack Jack is his official name. It's a lot of his his tags and all his paperwork and everything. But I call him a ton of different names. I think that's on like the pet tag question. So first, it's uh, what's their name? It's Jack Jack. What is Jack Jack? Jack Jack is a Pomeranian, but we're not sure if he's 100% Pomeranian because he's pretty big. I don't know if he can. I mean, I guess compared to me in the video, you can kind of tell. But he's like I I say he's king of the Pomeranians because if we go to the dog park, he's like twice the size of everyone else there. So. He's really, he's pretty big, like, for a Pomeranian. Our, our vet thought he might be a Pomeranian Shiva mix, we don't know. But so, for all extensive, like, basic purposes, he is Pomeranian, at least mostly Pomeranian. Alright. Jack, I guess. I guess see. Um, it asks, where did you get Jack? Well, where did you get your pet? My Jack Jack. Jack Jack. He came from JoJo's Pet Rescue. I saw him on, there's the website Pet Finder. I had a Pomeranian when I was younger, and he also came from a rescue when I was really little. I loved him a lot. And when he passed away, I was heartbroken. And I spent two years without a dog. And then I started getting lonely, and I wanted another pet, and I was looking through Pet Finder. And I, tr I went and I met a bunch of different dogs. I, I tried a lot of different shelters, I tried a lot of different places, and I applied for them. But most of the dogs I applied for, other people had applied before me, and so I just wasn't, it was like luck of the draw, I just wasn't getting those dogs. It's not like I rejected those dogs, I just wasn't getting them. And then I saw Jack Jack's little face. His little face was on the internet, and I just, I just saw him, and I just, I fell in love with him. I contacted the rescue about him, and he was currently being fostered. He bounced through two different shelters. Hi, hi. He bounced through two different shelters and a foster home. And the foster home people were really, really nice. They were really nice people. It's not like he was like in a terrible condition or anything. They were really nice foster people. But he was bounced around quite a bit. I don't know why. I guess because he had a totally different personality in the beginning. But JoJo's Pet Rescue is the short answer. Long answer is I saw him on the internet. I contacted the shelter. The shelter said he wasn't there. Foster home people said he was there. I went to go meet him and he tried to bite me <laughs> when I first met him. When I first met him, he didn't want to be touched. He was growly, he was bitey, he was not nice, he didn't really like people, he was very scared. And at first I was kind of like, oh, well, may maybe he's not the dog for me after all. And when I went to leave, he stopped me, he got in front of me as I was leaving out the door, and he just stood in front of me and stared up at me. He wasn't, like, smiling, like, he didn't dog smile. Like, right now he's a little smiley baby. <laughs> but he didn't used to smile. So he didn't smile then, he just looked at me, and I just thought, yeah, it's you, it's you. So contacted them, we paid the fee, we went and picked him up, it was about, let's see, how long have you had your pet is the next question, that's a good way to follow this up. It's been two years now since I've had my Jack Jack, and he's little, now you're, now you're fidgeting, you couldn't let me film my other video, so now you're fidgeting. But so I've had Jack Jack now for two years, we just had our jack anniversary. but not sure how old he is, the next question is how old is your pet? I don't know. <laughs> Shelters have to kind of guess, they look at their teeth, and they kind of make a guess based on that. So with Jack-Jack, he had very good teeth, so they figured he was pretty young, so they figured maybe one to two years old, maybe even three. And I've had him for two years, so he could be anywhere from three to maybe five years old. He still acts very fidgety and very young, so I think he's probably maybe three, maybe four at the most, but I'm thinking three. He seems like he got, like, bigger, not just fatter, I, he's, he is fatter, <laughs> but he got bigger too. So I know Jack Jack is anywhere from three to five, but I've had him for two years. And when we first got him, like I said, he was a totally different dog. He was very standoffish, he, would, he wouldn't smile, he wouldn't really like have much expression to his face. But over time, he started opening up and opening up, and now he's a little love bug. <laughs> he loves attention, he loves being the center of attention, he loves hamming it up for photos. He's a, a total baby. He's, he's my baby. And then says, what are your favorite things to do with your pet? Well, I can't, I can't say the thing, otherwise he's gonna get excited, but a W-A-L-K. Aw, what you doing? What you doing? So, W-A-L-Ks and going to the dog park are his favorite things to probably do. He loves doing those and I like taking him. He gets along well with other dogs, he likes other dogs, mostly smaller dogs. He likes kind of feeling like he's big king on campus, he likes little dogs, but... 
Yeah. Yeah. You like other dogs. And he is my baby. He follows me everywhere. He gets sad when I leave, when I go to work. He sits on my bed and waits for me and looks out the window for me to come home. He's just my little, my little sunshine. My little ray of sunshine. And then, uh, last question is, what nicknames do you have for your pet? Which, I'm one of those weird people who have like a million nicknames for my pet. I, they do not just have one name. So his official name is Jack Jack. And I will call him Jack Jack, but most of the time I call him Jackal. Or, um, Jackalberry Pom Pom. <laughs> Jackpom.com. Jackalberrypom.com. <laughs> Jackal. Jack Jack. A bunch of nicknames. I'm, I'm one of those weird people. Everyone has like a million nicknames, but... My little puff. <laughs> but delicate little puff, because he's also very delicate. When I first got him... You want to go down now? You want to go down? When I first got him, I don't know how or exactly what happened, but he hurt his eye. And he hurt it pretty good. He had like a little scratch on day one. So we were okay, we put a little bit of antibacterial in it, and we let him go to sleep. He stayed up all night just rubbing it and rubbing it and rubbing it. He rubbed it all night and he caused an ulcer in it, so we rushed to the vet the next day. And the vet said, thank goodness you brought him because he almost lost the eye. And it was like horrific. I had never had like anything happen. I was like, I just got you. I'm a horrible pet mom. You, you, I just got you literally like a week ago and you're about to lose your eye. The, uh, it was awful. And since he didn't know me, it was like a whole new experience, a whole new place. He didn't know what was happening. He was freaking out the vet. I've never had a pet freak out this way the vet, but it's understandable. He was getting bounced around. He didn't know I was his family yet. He was like, new person, new place, now I'm hurt. New place even more, more people holding me. It's it's scary, I understand. And So it took three vet techs to hold him down, and the vet had to shoot the eye drops at him from across the room in like a squeeze bottle, and the, he has a note on his record because of it. And it's pretty, it, it was a pretty horrific experience, but thank goodness I was able to, he had to wear a cone, and I had to put antibacterial eye drops in his eyes, which... Since at first he wasn't very friendly, it was a very difficult thing to do. I used to have to try to try distract him, wrap him up like a burrito in a blanket, have the cone on, and then kind of go behind his head into the cone and drop them from above into his face. And thank goodness it worked because he has both eyes and they both see very well. The vet says they're both very clear and thank goodness. I, I would have loved him if he only had one eye. I just felt horrible because I felt like a bad pet mom because I only had him for like a week before he did that. And I thought it was going to be okay and he rubbed it all night and it was, it was awful. It was horrible. But thankfully, everything's fine. He has two eyes, he can see. And he's very happy. He's my little baby, and I can't imagine living without him. All right, that was my get to know me pet tag with Jack Jack, since he at first wanted to bother me while I was filming. Now all of a sudden he's off on his own, so I'll film my other video now. But that's all for now. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.